Hello guys, this is gonna be the third tutorial in our Vegas Pro 15 series. This time the topic is cropping and panning and zooming. To crop a picture is when you have a picture like this and you do this. Cropping a video is this, but panning and zooming over a picture is doing this. Panning and zooming over a video is like this. So, let's get us started. Remember, if you're watching this video from YouTube, down in the video description, you will find a link to our full Vegas Pro tutorial playlist. If you click on that link, YouTube will take you to the full Vegas Pro tutorial we are being creating. So let's come back and open Vegas Pro. Okay, let's import some files. File, import, media. Let's import a video. Videos, and then let's look for something. This will be okay, and then open. Now we have a video in our project media tab on the main navigation panel as we learned in our previous tutorial. Let's also import a picture. File, import, media, then pictures, and let's find a picture. This will be okay. Open, now we have a picture in a video. Let's bring the picture to the timeline. Click on this and drag it to the timeline. And now let's use the video. This is the video. We're gonna use the trimmer to select 6 or 7 seconds from this video and drag it to the timeline. So we go from the video preview to the trimmer, click the trimmer, then click on this clip and drag it to the trimmer. Let's find some interesting moments. Let's play it. There. So position the opening marker, the yellow one, play this. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing 10 habit 10, 10 or 11 habits to have a cleaner room. That is right. Position this closing yellow mark. Now we're creating a little region as we learned in our previous tutorial, the number two. Right click on this, select loop region, position the marker where you want it to appear, this place, and then add to sideline from cursor. Click on this. And this is our video. I would like to see what we have in the timeline. To do that, I need to go from the trimmer to the video preview. Click on video preview, and now I can see what is on the timeline. Look. See? Let's look at this. Position the marker, and then let's play this. This is the picture, what you're seeing. And then appears the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing 10 habits. Let's crop this picture and let's crop the video. Well, let's zoom in a little. Use this tool this way. Well, let's look at this clip, the picture. Here we have this tool, even pan crop tool. Well, click on this and this pop up window appears. What you have here is a preview of the clip here in the preview window, here in the timeline, and here in the pop up window. How to crop? Very important. First, position the marker, this marker, at the beginning. You have to turn on this tool, Sync Cursor. Deactivate it. Activate it. Need to be active. And then it's, this is so simple. Just drag to select what you want. This is the picture. Now look at this. If I drag this corner, it can select what part of the whole picture I want to see. What do you want to see? This one will be okay. And that is all. Let's close this. If you play in the timeline, you will only see that area you crop from the picture. Play this. This is the picture. Just the area you crop. And there comes the video. Hi guys, welcome back to Let's do the same with the video. Well, just click on the video. And again, select the fan crop tool. Click on this. Appears this pop up window. Position the marker at the beginning, this one. Make sure this tool is selected. 
and then just drag this from the corner to see what part do you like to see her face I can see the video here in the preview window because I have the marker over it if the marker is somewhere else I wouldn't see the video I want to see the video and cropping position the marker over it and then let's play this hi guys welcome back to my channel today only the face it's that simple to crop a picture or to crop a video there is actually so many interesting and fancy effects you can do with this tool you can for example rotate this you can apply some animation and things like that but we're not gonna do that so ctrl c and let's close this now we have picture cropped and our video will also be cropped look at that hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are very easy now let's pan and zoom so let's drag the picture to the timeline again let's use this slider to move a little and let's bring it again the person of the video hitting the trimmer position the marker as you remember and then add to timeline from cursor click to see this area let's look at the preview window and let's play this the picture is not cropped hi guys welcome back the video is not cropped let's do panning and zooming again let's go to the pan crop tool click on this let's position the marker here over the picture to look at it on the preview window and now we're gonna do what is called keyframing this is actually a keyframe at the beginning of the video i want the picture at full screen this is a video it runs and lasts about five seconds i want that at this time we will be closer to her face when i drag this corner that will appear a keyframe here look at that appears the keyframe at this time of the video i want to see a close up to her face then i would like to pan over her body i would like that at this time in the video go to this place and then again at this part go to her face and then at the end of the video a full screen you can try to drag to the full screen or you can also just right click and restore and that gives you the full screen now look at this clip position the marker and close up to her face on her body her face again and full screen that's how you pan and zoom over a picture let's do the same with this video this one look at it hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're okay position the marker and then pan crop to click on this appears the pop-up window let's do some keyframing I would like that at the beginning full screen at this time a close up over her face just drag position that is right then I would like to see what is in this table position the marker at other place and then let's look at this table release appears a new keyframing I need another keyframing about here to look her face and these things too so I drag extend this a little too much maybe position it better and at the end of the clip full screen just right click and restore to the original position now let's close this look how we pan and zoom over a video play this hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing 10 habit 10 10 or 11 habits to have a cleaner room that is all about this tutorial this was our third tutorial of the biggest pro series i hope you like it and see you in the next one hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing 10 habit 10 10 or 11 habits to have a cleaner room